Can you tell me your name and graduation year? Sure, Lindsay Beagle, 2000. So I was the first class in this school to graduate from this, actually the new high school. Can you give us a quick summary of what you've done with your time at Merck? So right now I'm the Senior Director of Digital Chemistry Manufacturing and Controls. So I am leading an area that's looking at digitizing how we uh, manufacture our clinical and commercial supplies. So what was your time at Parkland like when you were here? So I was a, I grew up in the 80s and I was a child of the 90s. So. Um, at Parkland, I was in the old high school for, for the first couple years, and then I ended up in the new high school uh, in the times before we had cell phones and anything, <laughs> any access to, to all the things that, that we have now. So um, it was a large sense of community. I was a swimmer, um, so I was a part of the, the athletic you know, area within, within there um, and really enjoyed being able to, to be part of the, the community with the, the athletic piece, but then also all of the other times um, that I had at Parkland with with the uh, more academic you know focused area um, it was fun because again we were the first graduating class here so we got to be part of the old high school and part of the new high school I think some of us were a little hesitant to come to the new space but it was a really fun senior year kind of getting to be well also the class of 2000 which was a big a big year and a big celebration so um, that was a really fun fun year that we had. What was your favorite memory at Parkland? Okay, so uh, I think favorite memory at Parkland comes down to part of the, the swim team um, and the sense of community and collaboration that we had together as a team and just the amount of fun that we had. Um, coming together and you know being part of that athletic piece at Parkland which I know Parkland is a big school with with athletics but um, it, it really came down to that sense of community that we had I think also other great memories are just having our friends again and um, I think that senior year here coming back to that and, and being able to be that first class and have some of the special pieces of being the graduating class of 2000. Um, they definitely treated us a little bit differently I think that year because we were the first year and we um, had some special events since we were that, that millennial class I guess per se. Who is your most memorable teacher? So Mr. Ashenfelder. Like, by far, he was biology. Um, I think I thought that I maybe wanted to go into the sciences, um, was rather unsure, and then I had him and he made it exciting. So he has always stuck out in my mind as somebody who was um, influential in where I wanted to go in my career. And um, while I went to college not knowing if I wanted to go to med school or grad school or, or where exactly I wanted to go with biology, I at least knew that he gave me the foundation to, to wanting to go into the sciences. So um, I, I'll give him, and Mr. Uh, Saltern, he was a chemistry teacher and he was a little tough. Uh, and I remember that, but I ended up having a degree in chemistry also. So um, he, he also paved the way for me to, to challenge myself, I think, um, beyond where, where I normally would. And that resulted in where I am in my career now. So thank you for joining us today and congratulations on being awarded as a distinguished alumni. Yeah, no, thank you for having me and I'm excited to be part of the, the group of distinguished alumni here at Parkland.